Hey guys, this series is going to show you the basics behind the most commonly used tools in the Photoshop interface. In this video, I'm going to show you how the Move tool works and the different options available when you have it selected. Let's get started. The first thing that you'll need to know is the shortcut key for the Move tool, which is the letter V on your keyboard. If you have another tool selected, or you don't even know what tool you have selected, all you have to do is press V to select the Move tool in your toolbar. Now, the Move tool allows you to move things around individually or in groups. Once the Move tool is selected, you'll see the options for it in the top area of the Photoshop interface. The first checkbox you'll see is the Auto Select checkbox. I'm going to start with that turned off, and you'll notice that I have nothing selected in my Layers palette. So if I click on my document to try to move this blue circle, I get an error message telling me that I have no layers selected. If I come over to my Layers palette and select my blue layer, now I can click and drag anywhere in my canvas to move my blue circle around. If I come back to the top and turn Auto Select on, it activates this drop-down menu. Inside the drop-down menu, you'll see Group and Layer. If I have Layer selected, then I can click on any layer in my canvas and it automatically selects that layer in my Layers palette. So I can click and drag objects more easily. If I turn the Auto Select on to Group, then it will select groups instead of layers. In my Layers palette, you'll see that the red, blue, and the green circle are in the Circles group. So if I click on the blue circle and drag it, it moves all three of those circles. And that's because I have Auto Select checked and Group selected in the drop-down menu. Normally, you want to have that set to Layer, so you can move individual items more easily. Now you'll notice when I have this layer selected, there's a box around it. And that's because up top I have Show Transform Control selected. If you turn that off, that box disappears, although the circle still remains selected in the Layers palette, and I can move it around. If I turn that back on, it makes it easier to see what you have selected in your canvas. It also allows you to do a few other things. So if I hover over any of these Transform Controls and click on them, I enter Free Transform Mode, so I can scale my circle, or rotate it around a bit. And if you right click, it brings up another menu where you can do some more advanced things. These are just the basics of the Move tool, but they're also the most important things you need to know for day-to-day -day work in Photoshop. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.